once human is getting some brand new developer updates we also got to talk about some insider stuff and some changes we might see in the near future there is a massive sale that's gonna happen sometime soon and also some last minute mentionables including my giveaway that is ending tonight we got a ton to talk about what's up world it's utopia back in with another video today we're checking out all things once human okay so let's just jump into some of the official news stuff then i'll get into some of the insider information although first up very very quickly Again, I am holding that giveaway. This is my last mention of it, of course, because it is ending tonight. That contains five battle pass codes and four meta pass codes. Those are 30 days each. Now, of course, you can only win once. Again, I'll leave a link below to my Discord if you want to head there. Jump to the giveaway channel and click the button. That's literally all you got to do to enter. Very simple. You don't even have to like or subscribe. Jumping back to it, though. With the official news here, we do have some mobile version closed beta test news. So from the official Twitter account here, we have the test start time being November 28th at 7 p.m. PDT, which is 9 p.m. CST, 10 p.m. EST, and it's going to be for both platforms, Android and iOS. It contains most regions here, North America, Japan, South Korea, and even HMT region, which is actually Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. For anyone confused there on that labeling. They also have a ton of languages supported here, English, German, French, Japanese, Korean, and even traditional Chinese. The test content is going to be Manibus Novice, but they do note a few things here. This is a technical test and has no recharge content. Once the server is full, the download for the beta test will be closed, and all data from the test will be deleted at its conclusion. Of course, they mention the usual, like the test content does not represent the final game quality. Third up, after receiving test qualifications, you can download the PC test version from the official website for cross-platform play. Please note that you cannot register a new character using the PC version. You must first register a character on the mobile test version to gain qualification. They also include a pre-register link if you need to do so. However, this pre-registration link is a little bit confusing if you don't know how to navigate the website. So when you do get there and you actually click on this link, again, I will include this link in the description down below to make it easy. Once you head there, you'll click on the play free now section and you'll see the mobile pre-registration link. Then you either scan the QR code or pre-order it through Apple's website, which you can do if you log into your Apple ID or Android ID through Google Play. And from there, you should be able to pre-register. I played on the last mobile technical test and it actually was quite fun and really interesting to play it on the go it runs surprisingly well on my iphone 11 pro max which is decently dated and doesn't have the best graphics chip currently it's definitely worth the check out just to see how it plays and see if you like it because you will be able to play your main character when this does release essentially whatever character you have on pc you will be able to play it on your phone which even if you're not using it for gameplay aspects it might be hard without a controller that's connected to your phone you could tend to things like your garden which i'll definitely use it for so just keeping up with idle tasks that you kind of need to be in the game for or to collect or even your resources from your deviations those get maxed out moving on though for some more official news here we have the countdown spree for less which they say in less than a week the biggest discounts of the season will hit the shop of course stay tuned to the official social media for all the details to get ready to snag some amazing deals which looks like the discount is going to last from november 21st to december 5th and i'm not sure if they mean up to but things will be up to 35 percent off now they do mention this discount will only apply to certain items but that's going to be an insane shopping spree for a lot of people especially with the christmas season coming up and we know of those black friday deals so pretty huge there we're gonna see a lot of things that are discounted i know the cosmetic community in once human is striving it's also had a little bit of controversy there but with this sale that should help out a lot so if you're thinking about purchasing anything i would wait until this new sale drops as that will be your best bet there and that's gonna start on november 21st they haven't dropped a time yet so we're not for sure on that but i will keep you guys updated if i get any official news or any more official news there now jumping over quickly this is a little bit of both community and somewhat insider news so if we had this post here saying what features do you want to see added to eternal land a lot of people want some more things or quality of life stuff added to eternal land as they're in between scenarios as the original poster points out here they want to be able to get and claim mail do a few things with house blueprints that are made in eternal land this other commenter points out here a snow weather option or maybe even to be able to just change the weather to your liking 
or even a snow terrain region or just obviously different regions in general there an option to maybe mass bulldoze structures although maybe we hopefully also see that in the regular servers of course a major one here is being able to use eternal land blueprints what they mean there's not the weapon blueprints but the housing blueprints on live servers which obviously it has to meet the range of live servers i believe you're able to create a little bit more on eternal land comparative to live servers now with some insider news there i will say that they were actually gathering some feedback from some of the creators they were wanting to know our thoughts on what features or what things they want to change about eternal land so very interesting seeing this post pop up here as they've been asking for our feedback overall and what we've been kind of gathering so i'm curious on your guys's feedback for eternal land that i can pass off onto the dev team or at least to the feedback channels like the community managers who will then utilize that information on what to focus and prioritize for eternal land my discord channel for once human is becoming a little bit more active people have been asking for some more once human polls we do have a poll of the day channel i'm gonna be running some more polls of the day for once human and some more discussion geared toward that also run some on the youtube side of things so look out for those as well that way i could gather a lot of the feedback and pass that off to the dev team when they have another dev chat with the creators that seems like the fastest method for me to actually bring some feedback to them directly as i mentioned before this is done through q a sessions that we do with the developers and the community managers i don't exactly have direct contact with them and i wouldn't want to be bothering them for small things like that but i can actually pull together all the comments and all the stuff that i get from the polls and bring that to them via those q a sessions so to kind of encapsulate that they are looking into eternal land and bringing some new feature sets to it so that might happen sooner than later if you're looking for some new eternal land features one of the last minute mentionables here for the official news they do mention here again the seasonal calendar or the season calendar tab within the game i've had this pointed out to me that of course the season calendar was there for the first season or when the game went live however they've reworked it a little bit and it now is kind of built into the game and they've done a little bit better scheduling with it so while it isn't exactly per se a new feature they are kind of bringing new features to that of course remember to get your weekly rewards there you might even score some free cosmetics i have through this method as well so there are some decent free cosmetics that you can earn through the seasonal calendar jumping over we do have our community mentionables now i have featured this creator before and i've been doing so every single week that they release this where the creator by the name of brillet has been dropping a weekly newspaper this time for the week of november 17th they do again have three additional pages here and it covered a lot of the stuff that i did in this video and my previous one so really cool a nice recap on different things different packing days the even the 35 percent off that i covered they've also got a cool new section here saying featured creators of course they're going to use themselves as an example right now but this is brillet on the screen here that you can see featuring themselves but a cool little nod to some stuff in the future and they also even have some fun stuff like crossword puzzle for this example they even had a maze just a really fun and cool idea overall i really enjoyed these so i hope you guys do too i'll leave a link to the post down below as well as all of brillet's socials that includes her twitch stream which she does actively for once human and even her youtube channels so of course if you want to check them out you can do so overall though it should about cover today's video if you like like and subscribe and until the next one deuce